Joshua 2.20 V'im tagidi et devarenu za v'hainu nakiim mishavu atech asher hish batanu The scouts continue in their speech to the prostitute spelling out even more conditions upon the oath that they made. And, if you will tell this, I'll take this in uh, as a sense of a matter, this matter of ours, then we will be innocent from your oath, which you have made us swear. So they're saying they will only honor the oath so long as the prostitute keeps her mouth shut. The word tagidi, this comes from noon, gimel, dalit, and it's pretty typical for a pay noon. We can see that the dagesh has, uh, the noon has assimilated into the gimel, and it has a strong dagesh. This is the hyphial form, and we see this indicated especially by the patak under the prefix pronoun, but there is also a hyric yod in the middle as a secondary indicator. This is the imperfect, and we can see it's the, um, excuse me, the two fs uh, uh, form. That is, we have both the tav prefix and the yod suffix. If you tell. The verb here at the end could be a little tricky, Hishbatanu, uh, if we were just parsing it. In context, it's not so bad. It comes from Shin Beit Ain, and in this case, we can see that it's a Hiphil, and we can tell that because of the He as an indicator on the front. And it is in the perfect. Now, here's the tricky part. The ending has Ta, and normally we would say that that is a uh, a 2ms. However, what we need to take into account here is the um, pronominal suffix on the end. And this pronominal suffix, anu, including the batak, is part of the 1cp pronominal suffix when it's put on a perfect verb that ends in a consonant as we have here. Thus, there's no ptak as a part of this, so this is just the, actually the two fs suffix on the end. So this tells us that this is hyphial perfect 2fs, which you have caused to swear by us.